We have Jason Underberg and Brian Kovener. They are the co-founders of View Magazine. How are you doing, gentlemen? Fantastic. Fantastic. Beautiful day. Well, first of all, what is View Magazine? You know, View Magazine was really, um, for me, a passion project. You know, we've been publishing for 10 years, Unity Media Group, uh, my sister publication, The Digest. Started off in Hoboken out of my living room uh, when I was in my late 20s. View was always just something that I've always wanted to do. It was, a, it was an inspiration to me to design a, a beautiful showcase piece of art. Long story short is it turned into a lot more than that um, over the years and it grew beyond my wildest imagination. So Brian and I, uh, we've always been very close. Um, we're like brothers, we are cousins. Uh, he was living in Florida in the finance world. Um, I was publishing. Brian came to uh, one of our events when we just launched View Magazine. First launch magazine. The very yeah. first launch party. I remember, because yeah. I was there. Yeah. You were there. And um, he gave me that look that night and said, I think I'm ready. For you to make that transition though from finance mm -hmm. to something so abstract and creative, that must have been a little jarring for you. Well, I did work on more of the creative side in finance. I wasn't sitting at a desk just looking at numbers. I was dealing more with the interpersonal and the marketing and personal side. But yeah, obviously it's a big jump to go from managing people's money to you know putting together a publication. The beauty is you learn something new every day and it's fascinating and I think I bring a different um, approach to it than Jason. I think that's why it's just that perfect balance, that yin and the yang. Yeah. So when people open up your magazine, what can they expect to read? The main thing we pride ourselves in is bringing you the news first. So it's important for us as a media outlet to cover not only the most luxurious things, but the things that are a little more hidden. Um, so we'll, we'll feature anything from the best travel destinations uh, to some great new exotic car unveilings. Um, restaurants that are just phenomenal that most people or, or some people don't already know about. And the unique part about what we do, which we really pride ourselves on, which is unlike any other publication out there, is we literally touch and feel every piece of that magazine from every trip to every bite to everything we eat to every car we, car drive. we drive and everything in that magazine, it's real. It's real content and that comes across, I think, you know, to the reader, and that's been the number one ingredient to our success. Don't get me wrong, when we go on these trips, we are working, working of sometimes. And it's not just you um, and I, I mean, we've got a full team of writers and, you know, even interns that get a chance to go and check out these experiences firsthand, because there's so much of the magazine for just the two of us to, to go. How did you parlay the magazine into these exciting adventures? It, it's interesting, it kind of happened organically, um, and it's, yeah. it's so flattering. St. Lucia, which um, you'll see in our next issue of the magazine, where, uh, it's a $4,000 a night stay at St. Lucia. And the only and magazines property. that have been invited to cover this property, um, Jade Mountain, which is, where we, uh, which is where we spent some time, are magazines like Condé Nast Traveler and Forbes. National, and, international travel magazines. And they invited View uh, out. So it's really, it's just, it's such a compliment to us that we're being compared to such a publication that, you know, with these invitations, it's, it's just, beyond our wildest dreams. And you feature celebrities as well. I mean, Mariano Rivera is one of my favorites that you yes. recently featured. Yes. Yeah. And we all the, the covers that we do, um, when we do feature a celebrity, um, we actually meet them. We went to Paris, Hil Paris Hilton's home. Um, you know, Mario, Mariano, like you just mentioned, we actually threw an event with Mariano. He signed a copy of every single magazine wow. for all the guests at the party. So it's real. You know, we try to keep everything as real as we can from yacht parties to Sojo Spa Club, yep. Maritime Park, Waterside, and now you're branching out down the shore, which is really cool. We are, and the expansion for us is really exciting. Um, I actually grew up down here in Monmouth County, and uh, I was living up north for the last 10 years, which is where I started the business, and I've wanted to come back to Monmouth County so bad, and why not bring View Magazine? So, you know, now we really are proud that we're back here where my roots began, and the fact that we're going to bring the readers a statewide coverage. And one of the places that you're going to be featuring is the one we're sitting at right now, the beautiful Ocean Place Resort and Spa right here in Long Branch. And it's so cool because when you see down the street, you see all the new construction yeah. and the vibrancy and the life that's coming down here. Yeah, I, I mean, I think Monmouth County has always been tremendous, but it's grown exponentially in the last year and, and what they're doing you know, along the waterfront here, all the way from Long Branch to Asbury Park and through, it's phenomenal the development that's going on right now with new retail or new new condominiums and new townhomes and 
it's just, it's blossoming and it's it's beautiful time to be here. Yep. So let me ask you this because media is ever changing and I don't need to tell you guys that print is taking a lot of the hit in this changing scope. So how are you staying ahead of the game? Where so many magazines and newspapers are closing or consolidating, you're growing. We are. How does that work? I think it's just involving more than just, first of all, you gotta have a beautiful product. I mean, at the end of the day, at least from an advertising perspective, all we're trying to deliver is just, is eyeballs, right? Whether you're paying for a commercial on a TV or a radio or a billboard, whatever the case may be, you know, we, our job is to put together the best product we possibly can. So it starts with the print, but we do so much on top of that. You know, a lot of times people are saying they're just going digital, but all that means is you're sitting at your phone, you're not really connected with the rest of the world. So a good example are the events that you mentioned that we throw where we're bringing people together and we're making connections and a lot of our best relationships and business that gets done are at these events. So it's everything full 360, the magazine, the digital aspect, the events. That's how I think we stay ahead and we differentiate ourselves. I also think there's quite a, a misconception of print being dead. I think a lot of people like the sound of that. <laughs> but in, in actuality, the same people who are saying that print is dying, they're reading a magazine on the beach or they're it's taking true. in their purse because let's face it, as a, as a species, we still want something tangible. and there's something to be appreciated about anything in print. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'd have to believe that there's a, a very big misconception about that in the market. And it's just relaying that and, and making your clients understand because the readers are there. So with that point, that print is not dead, you heard it here first, you are thinking about growing your digital presence with the launch of this new venture that we're co-producing yeah. together, yes. MagMen. Yes. So tell our audience, what is MagMen? So it's funny because Brian and I, we always talked about Mag Men uh, before we even knew what it was. <laughs> so it just had a, it just had a certain aura about it, and um, it's really our life. It's our life, and I think what's really going to be neat about Mag Men is we'll be able to in each segment of the show, um, we'll have our top five from each category. So you'll actually get to see, and there'll be live footage, and there'll be photos from trips that Brian and I go on, featuring different resorts. Um, different restaurants that we've that we can tell our audience and our readers about. Um, again, new cars, new fashion trends, and it'll be quirky. It'll be funny. Um, it'll have some serious character to it. Um, it'll also that, take you behind the scenes on what it's like to put together a magazine. You know, and we have two publications. So there's really never a dull moment, and we'll kind of bring the readers and the audience behind the scenes a little bit from a personal life standpoint as well. And like Jason. Uh, mentioned we're also going to incorporate obviously what we're doing from a travel standpoint. So where can people view MagMen? So in the uh, immediate future uh, you'll be able to view it on our own YouTube channel uh, MagMen which will be announced very shortly and uh, from there you'll probably start seeing it grow exponentially. We do have a couple new things up our sleeves yeah. um, which we're not going to talk too much about. Okay. Uh, we'll just tease it uh, but we have uh, two new um, experiences products if you will that will be launching in the next year. Um, one is going to allow our readers to actually enjoy some of the lifestyle that we enjoy. Let's just say theoretically you wanted to have a party in a few weeks and that's all you wanted to do. You don't want to do any of the planning involved as far as the catering, the drinks, the entertainment, all that good stuff. We're going to basically take care of everything, every single aspect of it step by step and bring in our people, our entertainment, you know, powered by you know, a true entertainment concierge program. Awesome. Yeah. That's really, really cool. How do you guys find time to sleep? Everyone always asks me this question, but we don't. We I don't, don't jet set like you. No, you just nah, don't sleep. We, we sleep don't. on the plane. Yeah, we sleep. <laughs> Are you guys dating? Um, here and there. Uh, okay. You know, I'm, I'm still single as of today. Not currently married. So you're also, not only are you the most luxurious in New Jersey, you're the two most eligible bachelors we in New are, Jersey. So. Can we say that? Well, I appreciate Thank that. No, no problem. All right, well, for everything Mag Men and View Magazine, visit hipnewjersey.com. Thank you for joining us right here in Long Branch, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers, guys.